what's going down everybody so today today we got ourselves a game that a lot of people have been waiting for that is atelier riser part two lost legends of the secret fairy now most people have played the atelier riser one and they loved it the people that did play it loved it that game to get the physical version of that game the prices are usually like two three hundred dollars because they didn't make that many but this is part two. Now part two, as you can see here, has the same cast, but it's three years from when the first game came out. I picked it up today. We're going to do an unboxing and we're going to do some gameplay. So let's open up the box. Let's get that open here. We're going to use a key. Yep. Old school style. And... Now, the case feels kind of light, so I don't think that there's a booklet inside, but let's get that out of here. All right, so we got here, looks like, what is this? This is a, oh, the manual. You get the little manual. This, this. We're we living in the future right now, guys. This is the manual where you scan the little QR code with your phone and you get the manual. But from the looks of things here, we got the cart, which is good because you, sometimes you don't even see carts anymore. We got the little cart here. And surprisingly, it looks like you can flip the cover, which is cool because a lot of times I don't like the regular covers it comes with. So it looks like the inside here we have looks like Ryza and I'm not sure who this other girl is because I actually never played the first one so I'm starting with this one I couldn't play the first one because it was too expensive and I wasn't trying to spend that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna use the alternate cover because the alternate covers are usually dope let's see if we can get this in here oops don't want to rip it Alrighty, so see that, now that looks dope. That cover I really like a lot more, better than the other one. That's pretty cool. Because the other one looks kind of eh, but this one looks cool. Right, so let's see. Let's, oh, don't want to forget to put this back in. I mean, I'm not really going to use the manual because by now we all know how to play video games. But let's put this over here. And let's fire up the switch. All right, so we got the switch here. Let's see. I was playing a little bit of this uh, Dragon Quest, but let's take, let's get that out of here. And over there, and let's put in that Atelier Riser Two. All right, there we go. Now, oh, I know it's gonna be a download. Let's see if it's a long one. Uh, hmm. Uh, this might take a while. All right, I'll be back. All right, so the download is finished. Now let's load up the game. Now this is the American version of Atelier Riser 2. And yes, I got it a few days early. A little bit of load time here. The download was pretty easy. It was like two minutes. And that's the thing. I was going to get the digital version, but I was like, nah, got to get that physical. Because you know these type of obscure games is not like that big. Sometimes they make limited amounts of them, and they could be worth something a little later. Just like the first one. Okay, here we go. Let's turn it up. Koei Tecmo. I figured I'd do it in handheld because a lot of times people just put up the footage and they don't get to see how it is in handheld. It's supposed to be 30 frames per second, so I heard it looks pretty good. So let's see. Okay. 
Okay, I wonder if I can switch that to English speaking. Hmm. Let's see. Bring that a little bit closer. Ah, my rotation. No, looks like the cutscenes. Looks like voice and everything would be is gonna be in Japanese. Okay, let's go. Okay, another loading screen. The graphics on it is, is insane, though. Definitely insane. And this is all handheld, yeah. This, this looks dope. You'd have to see it for yourself how amazing this looks in handheld. This looks better than some of the big AAA games they have. I'm 
術の知識とか技術があればなみんなの前で大見え切って約束したこともそう簡単にはできそうにないし。I love when they have it where you can auto skip. It's the best. Well, not even auto skip, just have it play on. So I don't have to press the button. Because sometimes I forget. Big brother, old my teeth. So we're going to skip ahead just a little to get into some more action stuff. Alright, now we're going to get into some exploring. So let's see. So it runs smooth as hell. The game just looks amazing. I knew it was going to look good, but I didn't expect it to look this good. Runs smooth, everything just looks dope. But the first one, the first one ran really good on the Switch also. That's why sometimes when they're like, oh, certain games can't run on the Switch, I'm like, what are you talking about? This one looks amazing. And it's just about at a constant 30. I don't really see any dips. We might have ourselves a battle. Let's go. Random dude. Your ass is grass. Okay, so the game does not have any vibration. Unless I just don't have it turned on, I'm gonna check. Tough little dude. Whoa. That's what's up. So. 
大丈夫だったかうん大丈夫ありがとう So the game seems pretty dope, guys. I just wanted to play a little bit of it and show you the unboxing. This is the US version of Atelier Riser 2, and I got it a few days early. Hope you liked the video. Go out there and get it if you like it. It comes out on January 26th. If you like this type of RPG, it's like a JRPG with exploration and everything. But if you like this type of RPG, And this type of action adventure game, then definitely go out and pick this up. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.